Okay, so I just <laughs> recorded audio for this whole match, or whole game, and then realized I wasn't actually recording audio. So, I do know what happens in the game now, so maybe my narration will be a little better. Uh, I'm going to lead off with Evolving Wilds. We're going to use both to grab islands here, because we have our other colors in our hand, and by grabbing islands with both of them, we can have that turn two Stormbound Geist, which, um... Uh... It's definitely not a bad thing to have. Like, if he plays something that I really need to block in the interim time, I can obviously go with Scab, but there's not a lot of two drops that I wouldn't feel comfortable just dropping Scab a turn later for. So, yeah, ho hopefully we can finally get that elusive 3-1 record. Because, uh... So it's, it's eluded us so far in this series of videos. 2-2 two -two is just not not good enough. Uh, I have recorded a bunch of drafts since recording these. Um, deleted a bunch as well. I, I'm going to try and post stuff that... Uh, I'm going to go, guys, here, by the way. That I deem more relevant. Just because... <sighs> How do I explain this? Uh, th there's certainly a lot of magic content on the internet. And so, and it's not even stuff that I do well. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to post some games, uh, some, some ones where I just lose in round one. But I thought the draft was more interesting because, you know, I, the signals were less clear. I drafted a kind of cool strategy, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just like a average drafts where I do average, they just don't really appeal to me watching. Like, I'm not, I'm not the best player, the most entertaining person, <laughs> if you will. So... Uh, I try I try and post drafts that I consider good as opposed to just whatever content because my whatever content is obviously not as good as like you know like pro like guys on like uh what's it called on like the channel fireball sites that that kind of stuff where like they're really good players so obviously you're gonna watch it um, um unfortunately I'm not but uh, anyways. See, so that's my reasoning for posting drafts that I consider more interesting. Here he's got a decision to make. He can blow up his flare, take up my guide again with Patrician. I went with uh, Armored Scab there because he played Patrician, as opposed to the second Stormbound guys, just because that thing races pretty well. Uh, he's actually going to go with the dead weight here. Uh, he, I'm still just going to block his dude. I mean, he'd have to use like two pieces of removal for that not to be worth it. And, I'm happy with him blowing two pieces of removal since my scab's basically useless anyways. His mark on Patrician is able to get in up. But now we're going to go ahead and Bone Flinger. We could Bone Flinger the Patrician here, but the Bone Flinger is going to trade off for the Patrician anyways. So I'd much rather actually take out his Skirst Egg Flare before he has the lands to activate it. Because otherwise removal is just tough to use on Skirst Egg Flare if they have the man up, because then they just, in response, blow him up and take out your creatures. That's why possible you won't always get them before they have the mana or when they have too much of the mana tapped out so if he, he's going to come he, in here with patrician i'm definitely just going to trade off uh that thing is making my life hell you know with six point life swings every turn so gonna do that and he didn't have anything more to play luckily for us so we can start getting in there in the air uh i'm gonna go with soul caesar here because this puts him in a tough spot if he wants to play any good creatures mostly because if they're not flying or reach, but he wouldn't have any reach guys for obvious reasons. Or named one-eyed scarecrow, I guess. Um, my soul Caesar is just gonna take them, and that's gonna be the end of it. Like, uh, it's 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 not. It basically it's not as good as my control, obviously, because with my control you kind of want them to play their good guy, unless he has like an absolutely game-breaking into the battlefield effect, because then you can just take it, right? With soul Caesar, they're really dissuaded from playing their strongest creatures. Because they know that if, as long as it's not summoning sick, it's coming in there next turn, and it's going to take your guy. It, it, its ability is optional as well, so if he wants to play just junk on the ground, I can just ignore it and wait as well. I'm going to go ahead and play Relentless Gabs here. If he had like a really big like ground block or like a Tree of Redemption or something, uh, I would I would have gone with the Geist instead. But I can just you know exile a crappy creature from my graveyard and put more power on the board. Which is really important at this point. Um, he has five cards in hand, so I know he's not out of gas. Like, he's definitely either has removal. He doesn't want to use a mind dying guys, and or creatures. He doesn't want to play because he knows they're gonna get soul caesared. Uh, he's gonna go and tap a lot of mana here. I was originally thinking this could have been like Moonveil Dragon or something, which obviously would have been a problem. But uh, it's gonna be into the maw, I think. 
yeah, he's going to take on my mountain, <laughs> which is unfortunate, um, because we haven't gotten the use out of it yet, but he's also going to take out Soul Caesar, which means he's now safe to play creatures, and he has enough life that he's not too behind, that he's definitely still in this game, uh, we did draw the Brimstone Volley there, which kind of sucks, because, you know, we just lost our one way to play it. But we're still definitely fine just playing Stormbound Geist here. It's putting more Undying Power on the board. That's just making his life hard, because, like, any removal he has is near useless when your entire board's a 0-2 and a bunch of Undying creatures. Um, he's going to go on ahead and play Markov Warlord here. Unfortunately, he can't use it offensively to full effect. Um... Which, you know, th that's how you want that card to be used, like, especially when you have more creatures out. It just, you can deal a ton of damage. But, um, he just really needs it to be back and block my scabs. Uh, otherwise he's going to 3 this turn. Which, yeah. Uh, if he plays any flyers at this point, though, Rig's gonna get him, like, I have the mana for Rig. So I'm really not concerned, because I know my guys are probably going to be able to win the game for me. So he's going to trade, and then he's actually going to undyne evil his own guy. So our guys both come back as 5-5s. Five uh, which is definitely fine for him. Like, he, he needs the blocker. And, um, otherwise my ground attackers just come back bigger. He definitely still needs some more action in the coming turns. And I'm really confident at this point, because he can't have too many flyers as black-red. And if he does, I can deal with him with rig. He's just going to play another ground dude here, but really, like, Pry is nice and all, and he's going to be able to trade off his scabs with Warlord is what he's thinking, so that he used both halves of Warlord to deal with him, but I'm going to draw Griptide, and usually you never want to use it on creatures with end of the battlefield effects, but Warlord's effect is just not helping him at this point, like, I'm just at such a high life total, and he doesn't have enough creatures that it'll hurt me a ton, so I'd much rather just be able to get in there, um... I'm swinging for lethal, he can obviously block, but he has no flyers, I'm assuming, and not enough removal, or, yeah, it's hard to have enough removal at that point to win, so he's going to concede, we're finally going to finish 3-1, and one. uh, the prize payouts are actually pretty good for these seals, I remember you got like, 8 packs for a 3-1, and one. That's, not, that's not too bad, fortunately they were all Dark Ascension, which, bleh. but, um, yeah, that was, we finally reached that record. So thanks for watching. I'll have some drafts up in the future, and I will see you guys later.